In today's video, I'll be showing you how to remove a forgotten pin, password, or pattern on the Samsung Galaxy A25 5G. So you might have forgotten your current screen lock type, be it a pin, password, or pattern, and we can't shut this phone down because we've forgotten the screen lock type. So to fix this, you'll need to perform a hard reset, and this will erase every single piece of data on your device. To do that, first connect your phone to a computer. It can be a MacBook, a desktop, or whatever it is you're using. And once it's been connected, then you need to perform a series of actions. The first is by pressing on the side key and volume down button until your screen goes off. And once the screen goes off, move the finger from volume down to volume up so that you can enter recovery mode. So let's do this together. Side key, volume down, then long press, and ignore the power off menu that will appear, and just keep pressing. And then once the screen goes off, move to volume up. And then the Samsung logo will appear, and you can let go of the buttons. So once you've entered recovery mode, Use the volume down button and scroll until you find wipe data slash factory reset. To select it, press on the side key and then confirm your decision. You'll obviously begin with a warning, which means it will wipe all user data and it can't be undone. So all data on this device will be erased. If your SD card is encrypted, all data on your SD card will also be lost. So confirm your decision by selecting factory data reset. And then at the bottom of recovery mode, you should see that the data wipe is complete. From here, you'll need to reboot your system. So ensure that it's been selected, then press on the side key to confirm your choice and wait for your phone to be restarted. It may take a while, but just wait patiently for the process to, com to complete itself. Once complete, you'll be brought to the setup page and now you'll have to set up your device all over again. So start by selecting the language of your device. And then once selected, Tap on start. Again, you'll need to agree to the end user license agreement and the privacy policy. You also have the choice of setting up using an older phone, such as a Galaxy or Android phone or an iPhone or iPad, or you can just choose to set up manually. Then you'll need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So enter in the network details, then tap on connect. Then move on to the next step. So wait for your device to get ready. It may take a few minutes. So just wait patiently. Then you'll be told to confirm your pattern but since you don't remember your screen lock type, then choose the option, use my Google account instead. Then enter in your email or phone number and ensure it's the same account that you used to sign in into this phone. And once you've entered in the email, tap on next and enter in the password. Once you've entered in the password, then you'll pro be prompted to do the two-step verification and ensure that you complete it. And then you'll be prompted, you'll be given a prompt saying that the Google account on this device has been verified. 
So now you can add that Google account back to the device or you can use a new account. So let me choose add previous account and then wait for it to finish up. Then you can choose to copy data from a new phone or sorry, from an old phone or you can just choose to select don't copy and then you'll be told that your account has been added. So now you can now add and remove accounts later by going to settings and accounts. So any contacts, emails, calendars, events, and all of that information that came with that Google account has been added to your device. And then tap on next. Then you can choose to restore data from a previous phone or you can just select don't restore. Then you'll be given a list of Google services that you can enable or disable on your device. And if you're happy with how it is, tap on accept. Then you'll be prompted to create a new pin password pattern, or you can add fingerprints and face recognition. And you can also choose to skip and do that later. And then skip anyway. Then you'll be told to set up Google Assistant and you can choose to do that now or later and then confirm your decision to choose it later or right now. Then wait a few more minutes. Then you'll be given a list of recommended apps and you can just tap on next to continue this process. And you'll be prompted to sign in with your Samsung account. You can choose to do this now and you can use your Google account or you can choose to tap on forget or don't have an account. And then you can choose to start it up later in settings. Then you'll be given information on why you need a Samsung account. And again, you can choose to set, sign in now or later. And then you'll have Samsung services that you can enable or disable at your pleasure. Then tap on agree. Then choose your display mode, light or dark. Then tap on next. And then tap on finish to finish the setup. Your device may ask you to discover and install great apps and you can choose to do this now by tapping on continue or you can skip and do this later by tapping appear on later and then confirming your choice and from there you'll be brought to the home screen having removed the pin password and pattern so as you can see some apps are installing so you just wait patiently and ensure you're connected to our wi-fi network Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.